The United States Forest Service has had a moratorium on their land for the last 50 years that prohibits new recreational residences. UPCO owned a large amount of land in the Upper Peninsula in the 1950s and offered to lease it to residents. In the early 90s, UPCO sold that land to the Forest Service, who gave leaseholders an ultimatum, sign a non-renewable 25-year lease or vacate. Those leases are close to expiration. State Representative Scott Dianda is pushing a resolution that would allow leaseholders to keep the land. After listening to our constituents who have these camps for generations, my resolution asks to lift that moratorium on the residential track within the Ottawa National Forest to allow current owners and their families of lease land the opportunity to keep their camps. Dianda said the affected counties of Ontonagan and Gogebic could see a loss of $10,000. In addition, local townships would also suffer a loss of nearly $35,000. The resolution faced the House Tourism and Outdoor Recreation Committee earlier this month. Dianda said it was well received and will hopefully see its way to the House floor. Chelsea Birdsall reporting for ABC 10 and the CW5, Ishpeming.